From Zero Hedge, the title reads, Trump declares war on Mitch McConnell, calls him a dour, sullen, and unsmiling political hack. (laughs) That's a quote. That is a quote from Trump. And he sent out this this message via his, uh, his super PAC that he has. So, you know, while he's not on social media yet, well, he's not on social media just yet to uh, to speak with his uh, with his supporters. He he does have a way to to get the message out, and boy, did he get a message out to Mitch McConnell. Let's read this story, and guys, I'll put a link as I do for all my stories in the description box down below because this will have a link of the actual uh, letter that Trump sent out, the message that Trump sent out. It's, uh, it's a good three, four paragraphs long. I won't read the whole thing to you. I'll just read the, the main uh, context here from Zero Hedge. But um, give it a read because, boy, does Trump really hit back at, the, uh, at Mitch McConnell and the GOP. So let's, uh, let's get into the story here. Donald Trump has some choice words for Senate Mitch McConnell, Kentucky, after the Senate, major- after the Senate minority. I'm used to calling him the majority leader, after the Senate minority leader voted to acquit the former president only to go on a tirade on the Senate floor, followed by a Wall Street Journal interview in which he blamed Trump for the January 6th incursion into the U.S. Capitol by Trump supporters. Boy, Mitch McConnell is just playing up this story along with Pelosi, Schumer, and the Democrats. One party, not two parties, one party. McConnell, Pelosi, Schumer, they're best of buddies. They're best of buddies, and they planned this whole thing out. That is why you have McConnell in uh, still supporting this concept of uh, insurrection incursion. Anyway, quote, they did this because they had been fed wild falsehoods by the most powerful man on earth. Because he was angry, he lost an election, said McConnell. Former President Trump's actions preceding the riot were a disgraceful dereliction of duty. That's an end quote. Then why didn't you vote to uh, impeach him or Play, play impeachment, because we all know the impeachment thing was play acting theater. So my question to Mitch McConnell after reading this quote is, why didn't you then vote to to play impeach him? Why did not why did you take that position on record if you believe that it was a dereliction of duty? Because McConnell doesn't want to have his political career ended. That's why. He's trying to get the best of both worlds. On the one hand... He, he schemes up with uh, Pelosi and Schumer. They concoct this whole, you know, January 6th insurrection, domestic terrorism thing. On the other hand, he's trying to, to not completely alienate uh, Trump, Trump's base because he knows that that's the base that gave Trump 75 million votes the most for any uh, any Republican presidential candidate ever. Only beaten by, well, you know, Biden's 80, 80 million. <laughs> All right. McConnell also blames Trump for the GOP losing control of the Senate in January after two GOP candidates lost their racers, races after failing to support Trump's multiple challenges to the 2020 U.S. election. We all know why that occurred, McConnell told the Journal on Monday. Okay. Before I go any further as to what Trump said, we know now that the reason, um, who, who, I even forgot the Georgia candidates, uh, the names, the Republican candidates that ran, Lochner and, uh, and Purdue. We all know why Lochner and Purdue didn't win in Georgia. It wasn't because of, uh, of Trump. That didn't play the, the key role. It was because McConnell and the Senate and the House did not provide any kind of relief to, uh, to American families through, through a, a bill, a CV bill, which uh, a pandemic bill, which, which required that they give $2,000 checks. And then they said 600. And, and anyway, they just, they were dicking around with, uh, with the American public and people got pissed off. That's why the Republicans lost in Georgia. If the Republicans had a backbone, they would have passed a relief bill you know, like Trump said, two, three, four thousand dollars, and you know it would have passed quickly. Instead, they they jerked around with it, and and you got what you got in Georgia. It had nothing to do with uh, Trump didn't do 
the the whole Georgia fiasco. That was McConnell. That was that's on McConnell's head. But once again, McConnell's uh, trying to pin it on Trump. Orange man bad always. Russia did it. Orange man bad. That's it. That's the uh, that's the position all these guys take. They never accept responsibility for any of it. McConnell, you were the the majority leader. You were running the show in Congress. You could have gotten stuff done. You didn't want to get stuff done because you wanted to once again pin the blame on Trump. You see, they wanted they wanted to create the elements. They wanted to put all the pieces in place to create the narrative for what was about to happen on January 6. That's what this is all about. That's what that's what McConnell, Pelosi and Schumer were up to. All right. So this is what Trump said. Trump is having none of it, writing in a scathing Tuesday letter that, quote, Mitch is a dour, sullen, and unsmiling political hack. And if Republican senators are going to stay with him, they will not win again. And quote, what else did uh, Trump say? McConnell's dedication, it's from Trump, McConnell's dedication to business as usual, status quo policies, together with his lack of political insight, wisdom, skill, and personality has rapidly driven him from majority leader to minority leader, and it will only get worse. Trump also just suggested that McConnell's family is, quote, substantial Chinese holdings give him no credibility on China. Man, that is brutal. The former president also had some thoughts on Georgia, which he said was a complete election disaster in which McConnell did nothing and will never do what needs to be done to secure a fair and just electoral system into the future. He doesn't have what it takes. He never did and never will. He doesn't want to. That's the point. He doesn't want to. McConnell is happy with the status quo. He is happy now that the swamp is back in charge. He's happy that Biden is president. Purdue gave an interview during the Georgia election that said, and Purdue said that McConnell would be more than happy to have Biden in the White House because at the end of the day, they were colleagues for many decades McConnell was also a colleague with Kamala Harris. These people worked together for so many years. McConnell's super happy with the election results. Back to the article. Trump's only regret that he backed McConnell after the Kentucky senator, and I quote Trump, after the, after the Kentucky senator begged for his support, without, without which Trump says McConnell would have lost. He went from one point down to 20 points up and won said former president, adding how quickly he forgets. All right, guys, here's the whole uh, letter from Trump, statement by Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States of America. I will put a link for that down below. You guys can read it. It's more than four paragraphs. I said it's three, four paragraphs. All right, looks it's a good five or six paragraphs. Not that long, but give it a read, guys. It's interesting. Once again, you know, we're starting to see Trump with each passing day, now that we have this impeachment show trial done with, we have uh, we have Trump coming out with each day, coming out more and more and making himself uh, more accessible. Uh, obviously, he doesn't have uh, the social media, but don't be surprised if you see him jumping on some social, social media platform soon. Maybe he'll get on Gab. I hope he gets on Gab. Maybe he'll get back to Parler now that Parler's back online. Maybe you'll see him somewhere else. Who knows? But with each day, Trump is starting to uh, to get out in the in, in the public again, and uh, that's a good thing. But man, it probably has McConnell just shaking in his boots. It probably has Pelosi and Schumer absolutely just uh, stricken with fear, which is why which is why they want to try to get some sort of 9/11 commission out of what happened on January 6. They want to put together a 9/11 commission because they want to drag this thing as long as it can go. They want to demonize Trump and his uh, base of support for as long as they can. So don't be surprised if they figure out cute tricks and techniques to keep that going because they fear Trump. You know, Trump running in 2024 is interesting, but what about Trump um, running for Senate in 2022 in Florida? I saw a tweet from Mike Cernovich where he suggested the same, and I've said it in past videos as well. Wouldn't it be interesting to see Trump as a, as a senator of Florida, in which case he can then go to D.C. in 2022? Not far off now, guys. Not far off. He can go to the Senate and he could be the Senate majority leader. Bam. Like that. Biden and Harris would have to then work with Trump in the Senate. Oh, my God. I don't know. I think that would be... 
That would be a lot more interesting. I don't know, just saying. Just saying. And then maybe, you know, you run someone, someone else in 2024. You know, someone who's in the, uh, in the Trump America first uh, movement or uh, worldview of things. I don't know. Could be interesting. Just a thought. Let me know what you guys think. That's the video, guys. Hit that, uh, hit that like button on your way out. Look for me on BitChute, on Rumble, and on Odyssey. PayPal, Patreon, subscribe, star, because this channel has been demonetized and your help helps me out. Go to the Durant shop, pick up some merch, like this American flag Durant magic mug. You'll find it and many other things at the Durant shop. Look for Alexander's channel down below. And of course, look for the Durant, our main channel, where we're putting up videos every day. Take care.